in the evolution of Indian foreign policy. Yes. Can you just name some landmarks? Why do we read books? Um, you have sun, sun salutation. What does it mean? Um, sir, sun salutation is the English word. So what, what, what change you see in the energy scenario? How, what are the key initiatives? Yes, sir. Sir, please may I come in? Uh, please come, please come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good Hello, afternoon, good sir. afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. Asutosh? Yes, sir. Asutosh, I'll give you one minute to introduce yourself <coughs> very briefly. Um, sir, my name is Ashutosh Kumar. I have been born and brought up in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. I have done my schooling from St. Fidelis College, Lucknow. And I have done my graduation in electrical engineering from IIT Kanpur. My interests are sun salutation meditation and reading self-improvement books. Uh, Sutosh, tell me, you have written exam taking political science and international relations. Yes, sir. Uh, in the evolution of Indian foreign policy, yes, sir. can you just name some landmarks? Okay, sir. These were the landmarks of Indian foreign policy. Sir, right from the in the post independence period from 1947, the non alignment. In fact, you can go even prior to independence because the foreign policy seeds were sprouting. Yes, sir. Even before India's independence. Yes, sir. Um, sir, uh, exact year I'm not able to recall, but um, there was a Congress of Oppressed Nationalists that was organized, and I think our former Prime Minister Sri Jawaharlal Nehru visited it. So it's year I'm not able to recall. And even before that, we had uh, Dada Bhai Noroji who represented India, uh, who represented as an MP in the British Parliament. So from there, we saw that an attempt was made uh, in order to put forth the India's foreign policies and India's point of view from the British Empire and then to the uh, all the oppressed nationalist conference. And in the post-independence uh, period, we saw that the non-alignment movement was a landmark in the post-Cold War world order that and it evolved. What was the main driving force uh, behind promotion of this idea of non-alignment? Sir, the bipolar world order that had emerged and the Cold War that was there. Hmm. It was very difficult for an emerging country and a newly independent country to join any bloc. And if they had joined, then they had to face the repercussions like there were military coups, etc. in other countries. So India decided that it is going to adopt a path that would be inspired by the tradition of middle path that is there in the Buddhism. So I think this kind of ideological leaning to maintain the self-autonomy and strategic autonomy was the key reason why India adopted the non-alignment movement. And who were the other major players? I'm sorry, non-alignment movement. Mm -hmm. um, sir, uh, there was uh, Marshal Tito from Yugoslavia and President Sukarno from Indonesia. Uh, apart from that, uh, Nik General Nikruma, I think he was there. President Nikruma from uh, one of the country, Ghana. Any other uh, uh, landmark you, you would want to recall? Yes, sir. Um, sir, 1971, uh, India-Bangladesh war of the uh, India-Indo-Pakistan war that led to the liberation of the Bangladesh. But it what, was, was, what was the underlying major principle there? Sir, one, it, all right, winning a war is in itself all right. A yes. great thing to do. But what was, in terms of foreign policy, what was established in 71? Sir, India adopted a realist approach in the foreign policy. and A realist is, approach? Yes, sir. Why do you say realist? Sir, because till now we had a lot of uh, idealism in our foreign policy and NAM was symbolic of that. But now we decided that to actively pursue our national interest, we are now going to uh, go for a war. And because there was a lot of refugee influx that was there from the Bangladesh, and because of the uh, use of force, use of a force, deliberate use of force. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. And in a way, also very remotely, in a way, trying to influence. Yes, sir. Another country's internal affairs. Yes, sir. Hmm? So that was the. Sir, uh, I think the key idea was that, uh, sir, India had to now actively pursue its national interest. And if the use of force was required, then it had to be done. Now India could not shy away Fine. from that. Any other landmark you remember? Um, sir, uh, 1998 Operation Shakti that we conducted wherein the India crossed the nuclear Rubicon. I think uh, that was another landmark where India decided to now uh, emerge as a balancing power, which was back then, which now today is the idea of leading power. Nuclear yes, decision sir. on nuclear. Uh, yes, uh, uh, nuclear test that was conducted by 
Prime Minister Vajpayee. And but is was that the beginning when we did Pokhran one holes? Yes, sir. Um, sir, uh, what was the difference in Pokhran one and Pokhran two? Sir, in Pokhran one that we did, which, which was Operation Smiling Buddha in 1974, um, it was uh, mainly just to show that we had the capability. Uh, just simply. Pokhran to, one was to demonstrate, demonstrate. your capability, and Pokhran two was two was to. Implemented. Act, implemented yes. to actively show that yes, now we are going to use it for weapon purpose. Right, right. And, and sir, any other landmark you? Sir, 2005 Indo-US nuclear deal that was signed. And what was what was so landmark about that? Sir, despite being a non-signatory of a non-proliferation treaty, India was able to like uh, India was able to get a waiver from the NSG, the Nuclear Supply Group, and consequently, um, a deal was signed wherein India was recognized what as a. What was more? What was more important, fundamentally important to uh, the objective of Indo-US nuclear deal? Um, sir, to make India a responsible nuclear power. Of course, we would always be responsible. Yes. So, Indo-US deal or no deal. Yes. will still be responsible nuclear power. Uh, have you heard about what is called technology denial regimes? Um, yes, sir. There are missile technology control regime, Vasenar arrangement, Australia arrangement are there. And uh, India, uh, like uh, there, and a nuclear supply group is also one of them. And usually, and how was Indo-US deal going to impact those denial regimes? Sir, the denial, uh, like exact impact on other Australia, Vasenar and MTCR, I'm not aware of. But in the case of nuclear supply group, there was an active opposition from the China. So President Bush has had personally called up uh, then uh, Chinese president to to like uh, convince him to let this deal go ahead. So it was a kind of USA. It was a symbolic of a where strong you, Indo-US relation. Where do you place, for example, Panchashila? Yes. In terms of the landmarks. Um, sir, Panchashil definitely was a good idealistic effort, but today uh, calling it in, in today's context, calling it as a landmark is a bit difficult. But wasn't it the soul of non-aligned movement? Um, yes, sir. In a way, the ideas that were there, like if mutual. Panchashil was not there, no name would not be there. Um, sir, the idealistic principles were there uh, in the Panchashil that were obviously the core of the non-alignment movement, sir. Was Panchashil in any manner uh, related or connected? to Westphalian uh, state. Um, yes, sir. Uh, sir, the core idea of the Westphalian state was the protection of the territorial integrity and sovereignty. Sovereignty, non-intervention. Yes, sir. Non-intervention and mutual non-intervention and mutual respect and non-interference in internal affairs. These were the three cardinal principles of Very Panshi. good. You are interested in reading self-improvement books. Yes, sir. Why do we read books? Sir, the fundamental reason to read books, it is to uh, kind of get an expanse, uh, expanse of words, ideas and various concepts. And many a times people also read the books because of their interest as well. For example, people may be interested in the fiction, literature, novels, etc. To know for the society thousands miles away, yes, sir. people thousands years back. Yes, sir. Literature, society. So the soul so, of the writer lives so in the books. why you write that? Reading self improvement. What a deficiency in in you, um, sir. I think that there. Uh, I can explain this by example. Like uh, while preparation for UPSC, I had a belief that uh, if we are going under uh, going the stress, then we should start uh, going for some light snacks. And this kind of a self limiting belief led me to put on a lot of weight. So by reading these books, I realized that we if we start changing our thought system and belief system. Um, then we can uh, simply get out of these kind of self-limiting beliefs. I just had picked it up somehow. So I gave up this idea. I thought that to actively bust this. By reading these books, I got this kind of inspiration. So that's, that's why you write that self-improvement. Yes, sir. Improvisation in the terms of beliefs, thoughts, mindsets and... Uh, any any book? Oh, can you name? Yes, sir. Um, sir, I have read books like If You Think You Can by T.J. Hoisington, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Um, attitude is everything by Jeff. But Kenner. don't you think these kind of philosophies are already there in our Gita and the, all the, uh, the biographies we read from different people? Yes, sir. These uh, kind of uh, the ideas that are mentioned in the, these books are based upon the crystallization of what we learn from the Gita and other philosophical books, and they are ex uh, brought in the present context. Like how can we apply them in the modern life? So these books try to kind of give these kind of ideas, sir. Uh, any book would you like to recommend to the school children up to 12th class? 
um sir i think if you think you can by dj hoisington this i would definitely like to recommend them but any book from the indian context um from indian context i would like to <coughs> recommend them to read geeta and try to imbibe the spirit of sthit prag why don't you write sir i have read the idea of sthit prag uh, th that is mentioned in the geeta the one who remains calm amidst all no, the challenges what what i am saying is you should, you can also write for the yes tell it. So I have never given a serious thought about it. I'll see if I can write. Okay. Now this Akar Patel, the controversy. You must be yes, going sir. to the newspapers. Don't you feel it is a harassment on anybody's liberty? Um, sir, uh, first we need to see that in case of Akar Patel, now uh, even the court has uh, put restrictions, uh, and there must be definitely be certain coherent reason which investigative agencies might be having against him, though they are not out in the public domain. Uh, but then these kind of reasons should be put in the front of the court and they should be logically argued to show that yes we have a rule of law in our society and there is no undue harassment of anyone uh, under this fcra yes, that some organizations were that uh, yes, some sir, they imposed. were banned yes, sir. which are those um, sir i think sir? one of them was green peace if i am able to recall and uh, certain restrictions for, uh, like around 14 uh, around 10000 ngos they have been, their licenses have been cancelled from receiving ah, so the can foreign can funds can you name some mm, sir amnesty no. international amnesty international was also one of them sir green what green else? peace i'm mm, sir other institutions i'm not able to recall sir right now. okay and the similarly this uh, electoral bonds yes sir note the history where do we need to improve it further those are good scheme Do you know when it started, sir? Around 2018-19, exactly. 18? Yes, sir. That's correct. And the purpose was, you feel that purpose is served, or we need any improvement, sir? In the electoral bond scheme, um, there is a restriction that uh, it does not have the data with which whatever is there, uh, whatever funding is received by the political parties, this data does not have to be shared with the income tax department. and with the i think certain restrictions are there on sharing it with election commission as well so this is where we need to reform it and there should be a transparency and the data should be accessible for the um, income tax department as well as for the election commission who are the petitioners who have gone to supreme court sir one of them is association for democratic reforms adr okay now you are international political science uh, in japan history yes sir you must have read yes sir a little bit sir Which, which the 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 landmark which made Japan at par with Europe. So the Meiji Revolution of 1868, sir. Okay. So what he what they did, sir. Um, there a lot of thrust was given on the education of the people and to develop a sense of nationalism, a very strong. So education thing. was the key word. Yes, sir. And this key word is in Singapore also. Yes. Sir. The same is in the or, but where are we? Why education is so neglected in India? um sir there are different challenges in education Such um, as? Uh, for example the shortage in the terms of finances around only 3% of no no there is no shortage of finances sufficient finances there um, the teachers are getting all everybody is getting professor and everything there no no next point um sir in the terms of infrastructure availability in the terms of accessibility to the socially and economically marginalized okay, section of the society um third uh, in the terms of the learning outcomes that are there want to feel that the syllabus yes sir the, the outdated old syllabus yes. outdated syllabus no no uh, permission for the inquiry or questioning yes, laboratory this is the fundamental yes sir if we read this kind of all kind of this will be bit will be there yes, right sir acha acha um you have sun sun salutation yes sir what does it mean i'm um, sir sun salutation is the english word for the surya namaskar sir oh that's it Okay. What are the advantages of sun salutation? Um, sir, Surya Namaskar mm. has uh, physical, mental as well as emotional benefits. The first in the terms of uh, if we are doing uh, exercises, the kind of postures and asanas that we have to do in it. How many are there? Um, sir, there are eight asanas that are performed in twelve steps. And uh, and sir, uh, they help in the toning of the various muscles of the body. and they help in reducing the weight improve the cardiovascular health in the terms of physiological benefits if we look in the terms of mental after performing the certain surya namaskars a kind of mental equanimity and concentration is developed and mm. it also helps in analyzing this meditation and surya namaskar both it helps us to analyze our emotions in a detached way and it improve our emotional well being and also helps in building emotional intelligence as well solar energy is a very important factor 
Yes, sir. <clears throat> in Uttar Pradesh, how far are we using solar energy? What is the percentage in the entire energy scenario? Um, sir, exactly in Uttar Pradesh, I am not able to recall that. In it, India? Sir, in India, around 12%, 12.7% of the installed capacity as of the 31st March 2022, it is under the solar. In 2030, the new energy vision, how far we will be using <coughs> solar energy and other renewable energy sources? Sir, I think the international developments like International Solar Alliance and the idea of the one sun, one world and one grid. Mm -hmm. These kind of concepts point out that the solar energy is going to become a major thing. And uh, the Surya Putras, that's, they are called the 130 countries that are lying between the Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. They are going a big way towards the solar energy. And the cost of the solar energy is also coming down. So definitely it is going to be a major source of energy. There, are, there is a lot of sloganeering. Make in India, Stand Up India, Start Up India. Yes, sir. So many slogans we hear. Minimum government, maximum governance. Yes, sir. Do you think it all happened? Mm, sir, definitely, sir. These slogans are indicative and they uh, point out to the essence of what steps that are being taken by the government. And these slogans are indicative. For example, if we take idea of... Let us take manufacturing field. Make yes, in sir. India. Yes, sir. What are the things we made so far? Sir, in the terms of Make in India, we can look at the diverse sectors. For example, if we point out towards the electronic sector, we have the world's largest mobile manufacturing uh, factory of the Samsung that is located in the Noida itself. Are we making any chips? Um, sir, Vedanta and Foxconn, they have given a proposal under the Semicon uh, India program uh, to develop 28 nanometer to 30, 65 nanometer chips uh, recently. A uh, 76,000 crore scheme that was also approved by the cabinet regarding the ATMP, that is assembling, testing, marking and packaging of the semiconductor chips. Suppose, um, Ashutosh, yes, we want to create jobs yes, sir. for Northeast person yes, sir. who are going all over India yes, in sir. search of jobs. They are quite literate yes, sir. compared to other Indian uh, school going uh, now past yes, the students. What are the steps we can take as district magistrate of Manipur or Nagaland? Um, sir, uh, we have to look in the three sectors. The first, the primary, that is agriculture. The northeast is very rich in bamboo and organic farming. Mm. So there, I think a value chain can be developed. And uh, there is a specific component for the organic value chain and the bamboo development. That is done. Second, Second. in the manufacturing sector, uh, I think the natural resources of the northeast, for example, oil and petroleum, natural gas. And apart from that, if certain products we can manufacture by sustainable use of forest resources. Um, they can be, and in the third, the service sector, uh, I think the BPOs, that is business process outsourcing. Um, these kind of uh, institutions can be In the electronics field, what can we do in Northeast for generation of employment? So the first is enhan enhancing the energy access and for that uh, if a solar manufacturing plant is specifically set up in the northeast region then it can help in generating the jobs as well at the same time it can improve the energy access and energy access in itself catalyzes a lot of economic activities. Okay, sir. <coughs> Ashutosh. Yes, sir. Um, Niti Aayog has envisioned uh, uh, vision 2030. Yes, sir. So, can you tell us some of those important uh, facets of that? Um, sir, exact uh, I am not aware of, but I think the major sections which it definitely covers would be the agriculture. Apart from that, uh, the second in agriculture, it would point out towards using the high value uh, organic products and diversification from the paddy and wheel to a more oil so fields that and is pulses. Agriculture. Only. agriculture. Mm. The second one would be the uh, the road express and logistics uh, improvement that is there. So infrastructure. Infrastructure improvement. Mm. Um, the third one would be, uh, I think I was reading about the coal sector as well, in which they are talking about uh, the coal bed methane and gasification of the coal has to be promoted for a more efficient utilization. Hmm. Apart from that... Uh, so what, what change you see in the energy scenario? How, what are the key initiatives where you find that the carbon, carbon dioxide, emissions are, dioxide emissions are getting reduced or is targeted to be reduced? To? very fast yes 
सर द बिगेस्ट द पंचामृत अनाउंसमेंट दैट वॉज मेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी इन दैट कॉप ट्वेंटी सिक्स ग्लासगो समिट इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड दे हैव फोकस्ड ऑन अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड गीगा वॉट ऑफ द पार प्रोडक्शन ऑफ सोलर एनर्जी सॉरी द क्लीन एनर्जी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन सी द इनिशिएटिव लाइक इम्प्रूव फॉर इम्प्रूविंग द एनर्जी एफिशियंसी वी हैव फोकस ऑन द स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग नेशनल प्रोग्राम एस एल एन पी दैट यूज एल ई डी स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट फॉर रिड्यूसिंग वी हैव नेशनल ऑफ शोर विंड पॉलिसी Uh, we have national biogas and manure management program okay now uh, the greatest challenge everywhere you see is unemployment yes, sir. now suppose you go to uh, one of the say backward district of up yes sir now and you are asked basically you see that the youth is all desolate and uh, yes, sir. they don't have much skill so what kind of employment plan you will make uh, short term mid term and long term um sir can i explain this by example sir yeah yeah please um sir i can give an example of a silana cluster that is in the bagpat district of the uttar pradesh hmm. and there a lot of under shyama prasad rural urban mission uh, a lot of work is being developed for the employment generation hmm. so, so can you there, list out w- yes, which kind of work so the first has been the manufacturing of muri that is the puffed rice or the okay. yes, so basically called. yes sir the the products products the second one is being cultivation of the palm rosa and the lemon grass that is used for generating the manufacturing uh, um, aromatic oils and this is used in the etra and other industries hmm. um the third one can be uh, for employment uh, like this one is the two examples that are right apart from that other initiatives that can be taken is um promoting the for unskilled labor we can promote the mg narega related initiatives as well hmm. uh, apart from that for the rural youth we also need uh, industries like uh, the housing sector is there um under the pm awas yojana the lot of man hours are generated and uh, we can also invite as i pointed out the bpo sectors to be situated in the tier 2 and tier 3 cities that was also a part of a national software policy of 2019 hmm. so these kind of initiatives can help in solving something that something more okay uh, are there ethical issues in artificial intelligence Uh, yes sir the first one is that uh, the racial profiling can be done by the artificial intelligence because the kind of test child data- profiling can be done yes, not sir. only racial yes sir uh, that test data, data that is provided yes um the second is that uh, there are also fears that the artificial intelligence might become even more intelligent than the human beings and then they can uh, lead to the disastrous effects and also <laughs> is the the use of the artificial intelligence in a negative direction for example a south korean uh, university it has started using artificial intelligence in the defense industry so mm. now this can lead to the creation of even more lethal machines mm. and which can uh, be the, which can lead to creation of weapons of mass destruction as well okay so these are certain ethical issues that are associated only that okay um now the recently there was there were concern about very large borrowing uh, because the resources are not yes, there you yes, are mentioning sir. so the government of india is uh, thinking of very large borrowing yes sir so any idea how much it has targeted last week uh, they have announced i'm um, sir borrowing i am not aware of but i think the government of india is looking for the resources from the rbi and also from the foreign markets as well because mm. so the interest rates are recent low. rbi meeting on monetary committee what are the uh findings or what are the steps they have taken um sir uh, yes one of the major step is that uh, instead of the reverse repo rate they have also set up a special sdf facility its name i am not able to recall hmm. and now it will be used for a very flexible monetary management and uh, through it the rbi can absorb the excess liquidity and it is now going to become the floor of the liquidity adjustment facility which earlier was the reverse okay. repo rate okay. fine mr ashutosh yes, ashutosh sir. means Um, sir Ashutosh is one of the name of Lord Shiva and okay uh, your interview falls on 10th of May what is the historical importance of 10th of May um, sir yes sir 10th of the May uh, the mutiny had started uh, in the Meerut okay. uh, which led to the 1850s what were the reasons which were the reasons for that mutiny sepoy mutiny yes sir so the immediate reason was uh, the greased cartridge incident uh, because the a new enfield rifle had been introduced and its greed, uh, grease had to be bitten off and there were rumors were spread that it contains okay good cop 26 you were talking about yes sir so by what time uh, by which year we will be having zero emission um sir it is targeted by 2070 sir 2070 okay good uh Related with the 
Now, what do you know about green hydrogen electric vehicles? So green hydrogen is the hydrogen that is manufactured by the electrolysis of the water and energy is derived from the renewable energy. So uh, this kind of the green hydrogen, in it essentially causes zero pollution. And uh, if such kind of the vehicles are made and recently our, uh, one of our ministers, Sri Nitin Gadkari ji, he even drove a car uh, to the parliament that was... That's right. So with whom MOU has been signed to manufacture these cars? Um, sir, exactly. Green hydrogen electric vehicles. Is it with Toyota? Sir, exactly. Yeah, it is sure. with Toyota okay, and uh, International Center for Automotive Technology. Okay, sir. Anyway, okay, sir. now uh, related with the northeastern states, you were talking about bamboo product yes, and all that. So, with whom a trade agreement has been signed by India to encourage this bamboo product in the northeastern states? Recently, India has signed an MOU with a country. Sir, what is the name of the country? Sir, I am presuming it would be Japan. Still. Yeah, it is Japan. So, out of six main items, this is one of them. Okay. Anyway, good. Uh, related with the, that uh, Solar Alliance, International Solar Alliance, how many countries are there in that particular Solar Alliance? Um, sir, I was reading around 130 countries, but now its membership has been opened up to all other countries. Where as is well. the headquarter? Sir, it is located in the National Institute of the Solar Energy Gurugram. Uh, Gurugram sorry. Yeah, EMU trains. What do you mean by EMU trains? Sir, these are these electromotive units. I am not... Electric, electric multiple units. Multiple units. Any idea about this? These have been running uh, over the last so many years. Yes, sir. It has started from Delhi to Ghaziabad. Yes, sir. And after that, these are running uh, to some parts of uh, Haryana also from Delhi to some districts of Haryana. Sir, so, in Lucknow, electric multiple units. Multiple what does units. it mean? Multiple units? Um, sir, These pick up speed very fast. Yes, sir. sir yeah. Between Lucknow to Kanpur also there are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, electric multiple, multiple units. units. What units, does sir. it mean? Sir, I think that each one of the unit in them individually would be the drawing the power and maybe yeah, generating its right. own power. And diesel multiple unit? Um, Again, sir, yes, sir. There are there multiple diesel? units. Huh? So, one of the diesel train, DMU rather. Okay, sir. One of the DMUs is likely to be converted to hydrogen train. Okay, sir. A decision has already been taken by Railway Ministry. Okay, sir. And uh, which track would be this? That one of the DMU trains will be converted into hydrogen trains. Sir, I am not aware. Anyway, of that. Uh, no problem. Related with PSIR. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between constitutional post and statutory post? Sir, for a constitutional post, there is a specific provision in the constitution. For example, for Attorney General, it is under Article 76. Okay, just name them. Mm, Attorney General of India. Attorney huh? General of India, Advocate well. General of India, Comptroller and Auditor General of India. Okay, so um, uh, how many constitutional posts might be there in, 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 in tens, in hundreds, in thousands, in lakhs? Sir, constitutional post, I think they would be uh, more than 100 because the council of... If I say that these are in lakhs, would I be wrong in saying that, that these are in, in lakhs, not in hundreds, not in thousands, but in lakhs? Um, sir, I, w I am right. How? Sir, the All India Services and other central no, services... No, 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 not at all. You know about the constitutional amendment, why which 33% reservation oh, was sorry, made sir. Yes, for sir. women. Um, sir, 73rd amendment. So, that is only for ladies, 33%. Yes, but sir. entire number of the post, much higher. Much more higher. So, yes, which is the grassroots functionary yes, in that system? Sir, the Gram Pradhan that is there. Yeah, Pan, Sarpan, Panch, sir, all these are there. Yes, so, these are constitutional, constitutional posts. posts. So, these yes, are in lakhs and lakhs and yes, not sir. in hundreds and thousands. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Asutosh. Yes. Sir. How do you feel? Sir, fine, absolutely. No, how did you perform? Sir, I think there were many questions which I should have known and I should have studied. <clears throat> no, no. You your performance was simply excellent. Okay, sir. Yeah. Excellent. Yes? Sir. Sir, I, I don't know how No, I'm I... telling you. Okay, sir. You have, I'm not asking you to qualify that it was excellent. Okay, sir. It is. I'm telling you it was excellent. Okay, sir. Hmm? You did very well and I would really avoid uh, giving you unnecessary suggestions unless you want to ask something. Any questions from your side? Sir, not right now, sir. No, no, you have done. You, you please keep doing what you are doing. And you can probably take one more uh, such uh, 
trial, but on a very clear understanding that no negative comment you will take with you home. Yes, sir. Even if somebody gives, just simply ignore it. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. All the best. Ask us, but hey, that's my hair, you have to go to this chance. No next chance. Sir. All right? Yes. You have dressed also very, very well. Good, well. Very good, in fact. Very well. Very Excellent. Well. You made my day. Sir. Excellent. Excellent. Okay? Thank you, sir. Good luck to you. Sir. All Thank the you, best. Sir. All the best. Thank you, sir. Good.